this back back to another comparison video this time it's on these two gaming chair one is dps damage per second got it from costco warehouse for 144.99 and this one is respawn got it from sam's club warehouse for 149.99 all right the two differences about the chair right now they're sitting at their lowest point the dps as you can see it's sit about two inches one and a half inches lower than the respawn all right and both chair has different different stuff so let's go through with the dps first the dps has adjustable headrest up and down the lumbar support as you can see right there this is actually move with your back which is nice comfortable the cushion nice cushiony final carbon fiber looks on the edge of it the handrest support your armrest support does not have a cushion but it's um i don't know it's not comfortable but this right here it has a button right here it actually goes up and down when every time i use this chair i always go up and this right here it actually moved like that move back and move outward middle inward the same on the other side inward outward and it has a button and on the back you can see Just nice and normal. Where the, the respawn, it looks more gamey, nice looking, modern looks, right? But this one just contemporary. But when you get to my age, right? You just want comfort. When you're gaming four, five hours a day, if you do game like myself, I don't care about how the looks i'm more into comfort this right here definitely, definitely way more comfort than that but we're going to it more okay and on the bottom so this material right here that's the material and on the bottom just that this right here it goes raise it up it doesn't press down by the way okay you lift it up if no one's sitting on it it will raise up if you sit on it it will raise down and this right here that's the lock position when you push it down this whole chair is actually moved backward including the bottom goes like that and the back goes like that okay now i'm gonna lock it again I'm gonna have my daughter sit on this chair, by the way, when I'm done. Now, let's go to the respawn. The respawn does not have adjustable height on the headrest part. It has this thing for your back support, but to me, it's not, it's not really, really comfortable. And you can see the material is so cheap that it's actually already broken, one of the clips. Right, so we're gonna toast that on the side, but it does have that thing. Now, this one, it has a cushion on the armrest, right? But it doesn't adjust up and down. It just stuck on this position. As you can see, there's no button or nothing to go raise it up and down, right? And on the bottom, it has two right here this is at their lowest point of course if you lift it up it just goes up and this part right here right this this is locked when you lift it up the chair the back part move back all the way about 45 degree angle and it goes back but it does not the bottom part just stay flat so the back part, that's the only one that goes 45 degree angle, okay? Of course, you got all this red thing all over it. And 
I think, I think the nice part about this is that, you see that? This is actually slide out. And you flip it out like this. This is your actual foot rest. When that thing goes 45 degree angle, you can put your foot right here and you just relax. I will, like I said, I will have my daughter sit on this. I wanna close it back on. And material, some people like the back part mesh, which is, this is what's the breathable mesh material, right? To me, I sat there four or five hours. I never sweat that much. I don't actually sweat at all. And this right here, the same thing. I don't sweat at all, but it does breathable, but I don't feel not much breeze unless there's a fan shooting from the back where that one, of course, you're not gonna have no air coming in, but if there's a fan, maybe there's a difference. But other than that, I don't use a fan when I'm gaming, so it doesn't really matter. So now, what else? That's pretty much it that I can think of. Did I miss anything else? I don't think so. Now I'm gonna have my daughter sit on this. First thing first, I'm gonna have her sit on the DPS. And also, I'm gonna give her my con controller so she can demonstrate you how like, you know, the armrest can tilt in, tilt up. Go sit down. So this is when she sits down. Put them all the way low. As you can see, when it's all the way high, it's just about a five foot, it doesn't go. So when she gaming, she go this low. But the armrest, do you go game like that? Or you go game lower? You make it higher, right? You put a set it down on the bottom? Yeah, so when she game, she use it all the way on the bottom. But when I game, my chair is all the way low, but my armrest goes all the way up. Right? That's how I can. And go use the other one. Go use this, press that. Show them how it goes back and forth. Press it down. See? It's locked. You press it up. How you see how it tilted? Go tilt it all the way. You see how it tilt back and forward, and the bottom actually tilted. Go put it back, and lock it, and when it's locked, it doesn't tilt at all. And this side right here is to go up and down. Now I'll go sit in this one, and this one right here. It adjusts like when you lean back, this is actually leaning back. So this is right here on the highest position. As you can see, she can't even reach down. She's gonna pull it all the way down. That is sitting on the lowest point. Still, she's like a little bit tippy toe compared to that one. So that one is um, short people friendly and this one doesn't. So flip it around. Pull that thing, the foot rest up. Now lean all the way back. This is what I mean. You see that? How it just stay flat. And that chair. Look to the wall right there. You see how the chair just lean back and that stay flat. But who game like that? I don't game like that, right? Now push that back in. So this one has, like I said, has a foot rest. That lean back like that, but the lumbar support. So sitting under those two, which one you would like more comfortable? You like this one, huh? See, this one to her, for her, is more comfortable. Like I said, she's way smaller than me. I'm more a big man. I'm six foot tall. She's five foot tall. She like this one more comfortable. I like that one more comfortable. At the end of the day, 
you choose which one you think is comfortable. Like I say, if you're a big man like me, six foot tall, and kind of like, you know, heavyweight, that's for me, it's more comfortable than this. All right? Keep in mind, she's only like 100 something pounds, and she liked this better because she said that she liked the full price and everything. But I'll let you guys make the choice. At the end of the day, it's your money, which one you like more. Like I said, I like that part where the, it actually go rock back and forward. This one right here is only the back part goes like that. Goes to 45 degree angle. Where that one is the whole thing is actually like just like an office chair. All right, it's me, Jesper Gamat. Stay tuned for more video. Tell me which one you end up buying. If you do end up buying one of this chair because of my video. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and let me know which one you end up buying, DPS or Respond. Peace, I'm out. Stay tuned for more video. Yeah.